minutes. Let's send it over to Curtis. All right, guys. Yeah, Monday morning, and that means Kendra Albert from Chain of Hope is here. And usually we feature dogs that are in need of a special home. But today we have another kind of pet. We have a couple cats for you, and they have a story. Man, do they have a story. Kendra, once again, thanks for being here. You're so welcome. tell us about this cat, and then uh, tell us about the next one. Okay, well, this is Spinach. She's a little female, seven-month-old, gray tabby. Oh, uh, beautiful. And, um... This is Anna. Okay. She was born with no eyes, had belonged to a family that lived in a trailer park. They moved and just put all the cats outside. This cat that you're looking at right here was born without any eyes. And you guys found it where? In a trailer park. They had moved away and put all their indoor cats out to fend for themselves, and she was just scared to death. Oh, wow. And so tell us, you're fostering this cat. We're looking for a good home out there to adopt either one of these cats or both. Uh, tell us how this cat gets around, How you know, the health of it. She gets around remarkably well. She follows, I guess she can hear my footsteps because her other senses must be so attuned. She hears my footsteps and she follows me around. Sometimes you have to be careful because she will get right underneath your feet. But she uses her litter box remarkably well. She doesn't wow. make a mess. She knows where it is and you know always uses it. She eats, doesn't make a mess in her food or water. And wow. she'll come and sit on my lap and get, she'll get right up in your face at first because she can, I guess, your breath, the heat of your breath or whatever, yeah. she'll get right up and yeah. she'll give you like little nibbles on your nose and then she'll go and oh. just sit down. But. Oh, look at that. So, I mean, boy, do these cats need a home. And, and once again, this one, born without any eyes, but remarkably gets around the home pretty well. And then this beautiful tabby over here obviously needs a home. So if you want either one of these cats or both or other animals, just call this number 816-221-8080. And don't forget, folks, to like Chain of Hope on Facebook. You can get to their site through my Facebook page. I'm also going to put a link on NBCActionNews.com because we have got that $5,000 Pepsi challenge, right? 10000 10 10,000. Yeah. yeah 10,000 10, this year. So vote for them. They do a lot of rescues uh, here in the metro and the urban core, and they really would like for you to like them so they can get onto the Pepsi challenge. And I want to add this final note. It's always important to show a proof of performance on how many families, when they see this show and they see these pets who are up for adoption, they're actually calling, right, yeah. Kendra? So tell yeah. us about this picture. Well, this family adopted one of the little pit puppies we had on here that belonged to the homeless man and came back after we brought the little pits from the wood pile Aww. and adopted a second one. So that's great. They've got two Chain of Hope puppies. That's great. And we have so many more of those stories to tell about you guys out there, the viewers and gals who are adopting Chain of Hope pets. We appreciate it. And you can always find them at chainofhopekc.org. Thanks, you two, for Thank being you. here. I really hope that one without <laughs> eyes gets adopted. I know. All right. We'll